Hello back, welcome to this final video of this uh, penetration testing engagement. We've come a long way. We've started with nothing but a internal web application that didn't have much. And then we leveraged techniques to find the username. We tried bypassing the anti-CSERF token using burp, using macros, and then we abused a export feature to get a local file inclusion on the server. From there, we were able to exfiltrate the SSH key, and here we are having a foothold on the server through SSH using a very, very comfortable shell. Today, it's all about escalating our privileges. We're so close to getting root. Let's get started. All right, so now that uh, we have access as Gemini 1, let's do some enumeration. Well, first of all, I thought it was running as www data, but uh, instead it's running as Gemini 1. Yes, yes, it, there is no www data. That explains why we were able to read the private key stored on Gemini uh, 1's home directory. All right, so root is running SSH. Uh, what else? Do we have uh, anything interesting here? Well, first of all, what I like to do is go to var www HTML. Uh, we had a test too, right? And if you recall from the first episode, we understood that the um, database da credentials are stored under ink slash settings. So if I cat that file, I hopefully should get indeed access to the credentials. So let's use my SQL to authenticate and see if we can find something interesting. Going to type the password or rather copy paste it. And voila, now show databases. Give me the ink, so let's use that. And let's show tables. Okay. Select star from admin. Nothing, there is nothing in the admin table. What about users from users? Oh, okay. We have a hash of the username demo that has the email demo at example.com. Let's see if we can find anything on CrackStation for this hash. Paste it right here. We're not robots, are we? Nope. Crack hashes and nope. Okay, let's continue. Uh, what do we have under MLS underscore users? Select star from. I think that this would contain the user Gemini that we've, yeah. So this is the username admin. This is the uh, display name that we were able to edit and poison. And these are the hashes and the email, etc. Nothing really interesting here. Let's exit. What is the version running? Because maybe we could leverage an exploit. So we have a somewhat old uh, Debian distribution version. Last time we worked with Debian version 7, which was even older. So I wonder if we can find any exploits for that. Now, to do that, I'm going to change the tools a bit and use Linpeace. If you just type Linpeace GitHub, and let's uh, see if we land on the right one. Yep, I guess this is the one. So in order to use it, you can download it and pipe it to SH. Never do that in production, but this is just a test machine, so... I'm going to give it a try. We don't have curl. Okay. Let's use wget. wget is working. 
So we've successfully downloaded that. Now it's just a matter of updating its privileges, making it executable, and then run it. Look at that beauty. Going to maximize it for better display. So it's doing its uh, enumeration extensively. These are enumeration that you could do manually, but I'm sure that none of us understands all the verification that's getting checked right now. It's a good exercise actually to go through the results of Lean Piece and try to understand each um, enumeration. How can it really be useful into local privilege escalation? Okay, it has finished. Just going to go back up, try to read the results. So the legend here says if you uh, come across this, it's 95% of privilege escalation vector. Red, you should take a look at it, and the rest doesn't matter. So we straight away see that there's some red here, which means that it's an old kernel or old Linux version, and version of sudo. Oh, okay. Maybe we can use an exploit for that. And we have like 95% chances of local privilege escalation here. That's promising. Uh, let me try just sudo and see if it works. Um, before trying it, I'm just going to copy that value because I don't want to scroll up. And uh, let's try sudo dash L just to, s oh, okay, okay, okay. I need the password, which I don't have. Is it Gemini one? Nope. Is it one, two, three, four? Like uh, the web page? Nope. Okay. Let's uh, Google that um, CVE. So this GitHub repository seems uh, promising. The first two are just MITRE and uh, the NIST, which I don't find quite helpful. So one day for the poll kit privilege escalation exploit, just execute make and enjoy your root shell. Okay. The original advisory by the real authors is here. Well, I'm curious. Going to give it a try. Oh, bummer. I'm going to zoom in for you. And what do we have here? So it's a local privilege escalation from any user to root using a SUID root program that is installed by default on every major Linux distribution. It's called Polkits PKExec. Okay, that sounds promising. This vulnerability is an attacker's dream come true. Okay. PSZ is installed by default on all major Linux distributions. It's vulnerable since its creation. Okay. <laughs> Any unprivileged local user can obtain root privileges. Okay. Although this vulnerability is technically a memory corruption, it is exploitable instantly and reliably and architecture independent way. Oh, well. That's really interesting for us. Even if the Polkit daemon itself is not running. So what is this Polkit PK exec? Oh, okay. So that's the binary. Let's see if we have it here. Which uh, PK exec? Oh, it's, uh, it's there. It seems promising. So I'm just going to give it a try. Do I have GCC installed here? Yep, I have it. Okay, perfect. Do I have Git? I hope so. Git? Nope. Git? Nope. No problemo. I'm going to just download it as a zip file. Copy link address and use wget to download it. Okay, let's unzip the main.zip has created our folder. Let's CV CD into it. And it said that we just have to run make. Okay. Seems that it's worked. And now we have our generated or compiled exploit. Okay. Let's uh, run it. Drum rolls, drum rolls and hit enter. Wow. An instant shell. Unbelievable. If, if we go to slash root, 
we indeed have access. Let's catch that flag. Dot txt. Congratulations on solving this boot to root machine. Cheers. Well, that was a really awesome journey. And do we have access to passwd? Yes, we have access to it. Perfect. Well, that was a really great challenge. We've learned so many things. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If uh, so, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I publish every week a new challenge. As always, stay curious, keep learning and go find some bugs.